This is Professor L. B. Gaikwad's English Literature Web YouTube channel. I am Professor L. B. Gaikwad. Is dis discussing today on the topic occasions and examples of speeches. This is my lecture number two hundred ninety one and part third. So here today we will discuss the ceremonial. speeches that is the occasional speeches the speech number 4th and that is dedication speech in part second and first we saw three occasional common ceremonial speeches now we are looking the fourth one and that is the dedication speech this dedication speech is given when there is a new opening of a store or the new opening of a building means that building is named after someone or a new library has been completed and that is the inauguration function of the library it means that here we have to say that this lecture is given as the dedication as the dedication means what it is given uh, to others that is the point and it is nothing but the inaugural function this presentation highlights a project with its significance and the name of the person to whom this project has been dedicated remember this is nothing but the presentation means this lecture is nothing but the presentation and that's why this lecture this speech or the presentation gives a light on or highlight say project means it is the project means it is about the project and there is the significance of the project importance of the project and also the name of the person means there is the mention of the name of the person to whom this project has been dedicated or has been given for example uh, the example is there your aunt has died and she has left a lot of estate for you in this case the situation will ask you for the dedication speech you should involve in the dedication while preparing the dedication remember when you are going to prepare that dedication speech you should involve particularly in the dedication means the dedication speech be prepared with dedication means if there is no dedication then that dedication speech will not be prepared very impressively you should tell first that this building of the school is being named after your great aunt who gifted it to her school it means that i should say or you should say means the speaker should say about the aunt that the aunt has donated it it means that the school is given the name of the aunt you should dedicate then the building to the school means actually that is given by the aunt and now this gentleman is dedicating that building or that particular i will say the particular project to the school you should praise the architects and the designers of the building remember this building has been built by the architects and the designers if they were not there this building wouldn't have been there and that's why this speaker must talk about the architects and the designers who have uh, made stand that building 
there. Lastly, you should talk on the importance of the building for the community. Means the speaker should say that the building is very much important, significant for the community, for the society, because all the students from the society will come there and they will learn there. The boys and girls will learn in this building and go out into the service sectors and will, uh, I will say, will get the name and fame outside. Now the fifth speech is the toasting speech, that is the congratulation speech. The toasting speech is a congratulation speech, means we congratulate here our dearest. It is delivered to congratulate your or our nearest for having honor, for having the new job or for having a time of his marriage. Remember this lecture is the congratulation lecture. That's why this lecture, this speech is very much important because we deliver this lecture to make the congratulation of our dearest person because he has got that honor, he has got somewhere the job or he has, uh, he has the time of his marriage. Means these are the examples on which this congratulation uh, speech is given or we give this congratulation speech. He is going to be married. Remember, marriage is the important event in the life of the person. And that's why it is the congratulation speech. And it is a special moment of his life or her life. And that's why it is the congratulation. You can toast or you can congratulate your student because he or she has stood first in the examination. Remember, the student has studied a lot. It is the best moment of his life and that's why we can toast him or her or we can congratulate him or her on that particular success and that's why here we can say that this is the congratulation lecture. You should prepare your toast that is the congratulation lecture speech with remarks briefly means there should be the remarks and those remarks should be the brief remarks they should not be the remarks which will be very long or detailed it means that the congratulation speech the speaker should give there while giving this congratulation speech he should give his own remarks also there but those remarks should not be detailed. The, the toasting or congratulation speeches are given in the middle of the marriages. So remember, in the middle of the marriages means when there is the middle time of the marriage, this speech is given. Or when there is the retirement of a person, this speech is given. Again, if there is the party, in that party also this speech is given. And if there is the farewell function, this speech is also given. You should focus only on the persons who have got the honor and not on the speaker. Means remember here, we should not focus on the speaker. We should focus there on the persons who have, who have got the uh, honors or I will say uh, who are the honorees there. Means the speaker shouldn't praise himself or uh, he should not or she should not talk on her contribution there. You should toast, you should praise or you should congratulate the honored people physically looking at them means the speaker should look at them and he should intro introduce or he should give the introduction of that honorary there. Means in reality he should say in front of that gentleman pointing out him and keeping the particular message about them means there should be the particular message 
about them. You must describe there only the respected person, means he should explain there only the important person, the significant person, the honorary or the, I will say the gentleman who has been there for the particular welcome. You shouldn't make such jokes that will disturb all. So remember it is not the entertaining session, that's why the speaker should not make such type of jokes which will disturb the atmosphere. You are not for joking there, uh, remember. Toasting speech is only for appreciating the character of our honored man. It means that the person who has been honored means we should talk only about the person who has been honored there. So here today we have finished the two lectures, dedication lecture or speech or the toasting speech or the congratulation speech. Again, we will come in front of each other with a new topic. Till then, thank you. Thank you very much.